Initiative, calling the shots. I consider the initiative to be a physical manifestation of a psychological battle. Both sides champion their view of things in the hope that the opponent will have to eventually forego their own plans and react to yours. Thus, I usually refer to it as pushing your own agenda, presented in part four, Macho Chess. Since, it clarifies, since that clarifies what the initiative is, and at the same time, it tells you how to get it. He's describing the phrase, pushing your own agenda. In this position, it is black to move. White has just played knight h4, intending knight g6. And once g6 is covered, an eventual knight f5. Other than this obvious threat, white would like to swing their other knight over to e3, and from there to d5. On the other hand, black would like to take advantage of the somewhat loose knight on c4, and the undefended pawn on a2. Black can stop the knight g6 threat by king h7, but by making a purely defensive move, white gets the opportunity con to continue to push their agenda by bishop takes c5, and now black replies queen takes c5, um, worse is knight takes c5 after knight e3, with the idea of knight d5, white accomplishes their plan very quickly. Now knight e3, knight b6, one uh, possible move is bishop a2, double question mark, because after bishop h3, uh, black is suddenly dead meat, bishop's going to come to f5, and the pieces are going to invade against the king. It looks like we have four attackers, and these the, the knights, and the bishop, and the queen, and the rook over here isn't even doing a good job defending. So instead, knight b6. And I think, um, yeah, just moving this bishop from, from this diagonal right here allows that strong attack to come in. So um, knight b6 instead. We're going to look at this line. And now knight d5, exclamation point. Bishop takes d5. Um, if knight takes d5, e takes d5, bishop takes d5, uh, bishop takes d5, uh, rook takes d5, and queen e4 check, it wins material. So bishop takes d5, e takes d5, knight e7, queen e4 check, and now f5 can't be played because queen takes e5 is strong. And... King h8, and now c4, and white has managed to create some interesting complications. Um, I think this is interesting. It's still not... Um, the only question I, I had when I looked at this position was um, just about taking this pawn, but it looks like this is um, looks pretty losing, um, lo loses the knight. Uh, B5, B3, something like this, you know, white, white wins a piece. Um, and queen takes C4, queen takes C4, knight takes rook C1, knight takes B2. I think this is also winning. Um, I don't think there's a way to defend the knight without losing material, but something like this, then rook takes and knight G6 check, and White's winning, so so I think just this position having these pawns here, um, this pawn that that probably shouldn't be taken, um, and control of the light squares, uh, I think it's pretty strong uh, for White. But this is why this is a good a good example of the initiative, because now we're going to look at a stronger move than King H7, that if I, and this move combines defensive with offensive chess, so. Uh, and as a side note, uh, the initiative, to reiterate, is a uh, is the initiative is a physical manifestation of a psychological battle.
Instead of handling instead of handing white the initiative in this manner, black should answer knight h4 with queen f7 exclamation point. When knight g6 is stopped and c4 is under attack, it defends and pushes black's agenda at the same time. Now the e3 square isn't available for white, but a knight retreat hangs a2. Suddenly black is the one dictating the direction of the game, and white has to scramble to keep their position together. White's choices are all unappetizing. Uh, rook d7 looks um, like a possible combination um, because the bishop is hanging. But after uh, rook takes d7, bishop takes c5, um, the knight on c4 is hanging. So uh, black is up material in this position. Something like this. Okay, bishop takes c5, also loses material to bishop takes c4. And now, um, once the queen moves, um, well, let's say they move here to defend the bishop. Um, again, black's going to win material. Uh, rook d5, exclam, question mark, an imaginative try to infuse some energy into white's position and regain the initiative. White is hoping for bishop takes d5, e takes d5, knight e7, knight takes a5, bishop takes e3, f takes e3, knight takes d5, knight f5. Uh, a position like this is somewhat unclear and white has some attacking chances but the move recommended is instead of just playing b6 ending the nonsense and leaving white in a difficult situation so the final move which is probably the least losing out of all the other options is b3 bishop takes c4 b takes c4 bishop takes e3 f Takes e3 and white is left with an exceptionally ugly pawn formation. Yeah, this is practically losing having double isolated pawns like this. So I think uh, this is just a good example of the initiative and how both sides are fighting for it.